Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today's video I'm going to show you my CD collection They range from rock to heavy metal Plus there will be some shout outs So, without further ado Let's start with a great German power metal in Blind Guardian. This album has got the likes of their biggest song, what they still play today. Um, the Bard song. But, but if you like, you know, like Tolkien inspired like heavy metal. I would, would suggest this band now amazing. So it's Blind Guardian. Then on onto a compilation which which I had a couple of years ago. There's two versions of this. That this one is the quiet zone, so it's mainly acoustic, but you've got the likes of Extreme More Than Words, of course, the legendary um, Lisa Loeb, I think it was, of course, with her biggest songs, Stay, I Missed You. And of course, you got um, the Cardigans, I think, from Sweden or Denmark, with uh, my favourite. Again, it is an acoustic. Yeah, it's got the laws. There she goes. And then on to part two. You've got the likes of a band I've been secretly listening to. And i got to admit they are a good band in sticks. So you've got the epic babe. Which was, I think, a big song over here. You've got Gary Mormon, the, the late great Gary Mormon, Phil Lynott, and Parisian, Parisian Walkways, I think it is. You've also got Slowhand himself, Eric Clapton, with one of his biggest songs at the time. Wonderful Tonight. So, so if you like, you know, your soft rock, instead of like Iron Maiden, I would suggest these, which is the quiet. The Quiet Storm, I think it was called. Excuse me. And speaking of something which is a lot heavier, one of one of the great metal bands of all time in Black Sabbath, and this was covering the D, Ronnie James Dio years. Again, I actually saw Black Sabbath with Dio in two thousand and seven, I think it was, but they were really good. And we got a compilation which is um, the best air uh, guitar anthems. Can't tell, but there's some of the songs. Some of the highlights are The Undertones with Fergal Sharkey, of course, with their biggest song, Teenage Kicks. Status Quo with Paper Plane. Focus with Hocus Pocus, of course, the mighty Iron Maiden with um, One to the Hills. Of course, you got um, ZZ Top with Sharp Dressed Man. Rainbow with All Night Long. Again, you got something for everyone on this, on these collections. You've got Air Guitar 1, 
with them Black Sabbath Paranoid, Joe Satriani surfing with the Alien, I do believe, Joe Walsh with Rocky Mountain Way, Derek and the Dominoes, of course, with Layla. Like I said, you know, there's something for everyone in this one. And this is a metal butt. I do recall at the time going on when it was known as Twitter. And this, and this person I'm going to mention did a Q&A. And it was Lucy K. Of course, which, if you don't know, I was so gutted the year she didn't win Britain's Got Talent. But long story short, I asked her what her favourite uh, Iron Maiden song and she replied, Run to the Hills. But if you like your classical music, um, they, this is a good album. Uh, then we got the comp my own personal compilation at the time which is just random songs which I enjoy so we've got Metallica on there I, Mighty Iron Maiden Deep Purple what have you and this came with um, Metal Hammer magazine back in the day which is Battle Metal, but you've got bands like Camerfall, Dragon Force, Oyster Earth, Sonatica Artica. And then a new wave of British heavy metal compilation of bands who weren't as big. And this one is called Total Metal Attack. So you've got Atom Craft, which I think, pardon me, I'm not too sure if that was Kronos, of course, of Venom's first band. But you've got Pagan Alter, which is a brilliant band. And brilliant artwork from um, the, the amazing Todd McFarlane, which is Iced Earth. This one is Tribute to the Gods. So you've got the likes of Iced Earth doing a, an amazing um, rendition of Creatures of the Night, of course, by the legendary Kiss. Of course, Highway to Hell. Judas Priest, Lack of a... Black Sabbath, and of course, the mighty Iron Maiden. Speaking of Iron Maiden, a brilliant lenticular on this one back in 2002, I do believe, which is rocking the album. I think it was 2001 or 2002. But what an album, some amazing renditions and a couple of um, compilations of Iron Maiden, a tribute to the Beast, so you've got Sonatico Artica doing Die With Your Boots On, the late great Alexi, Alexi Lee Aho, I believe, in Children of Bottom doing Aces High, Opeth doing uh, a cover of Remember Tomorrow as well, and then Slave to the Power and Iron Maiden Tribute, you've got bands, got Sebastian Bach doing um, Children of the Damned, Crowbar doing Remember Tomorrow. Got 
got on Saviour from Germany doing running free. So yeah, if you again, I do love my Iron Maiden, and like 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 many of Iron Maiden fans, there are some amazing cover songs, but cover albums, pardon. Then this album gets overlooked as a very weak Iron Maiden live album. I actually enjoy this live album, which is a real dead live one with a brilliant Eddie. There's some of the songs like Run to the Hills, Heaven Can Wait, etc. Then we got Best of the Best of the Beast, which I think I got for more worth. There's the back, and there's the front. And a bit of Pro Wrestling, which is um, WCW Mayhem the Music with um, Bill Goldberg. You've got the likes of, if you don't know Wrestling Bios, who's a an amazing wrestling YouTuber, covered the return of the legendary Hulk Hogan. And it's got his theme music. You've got the Buff Bagwell. You've got the classic... Sting in 1999 when of course he was the crab but you've got a lot of like modern music at the time the likes of um, Limp Biscuit and of course you can't tell what that is, but it's Sign of the Hammer, which is um, Man of War. Of course, this is their debut from 1992. But what a great debut album it is. And in Classic Rock, years ago, It was a tribute to Queen, to his various artists. So you've got It's Light performed by Anthrax. Also you got We Will Rock You covered by um, Performed by just Scott Soto, I think it is. But yeah, can't go on with a bit of Queen. And one of the earliest rock bands. Well, I've got an album. If you can list clusters, Led Zeppelin. But this is the 1980s like compilation of Deep Purple. So you've got the likes of the legendary smoke on the water. Knocking at your back door from perfect strange zitters on this. It's got the legendary um, highway star. But yeah, brilliant turn band. Then... You know, I talked about Black Sabbath. I've got this DVD, which I showed you not too long ago. This is a CD of this concert, which is Heaven and Hell, live at Radio City Music Hall in the year 2007. Brilliant band, great song to see there. And got Iron Maiden somewhere in time with Cyborg Eddie. With the likes of the. Finally played it on this too, which is Alexander the Great. But what an amazing epic of heavy metal! 
You've got the legendary Vice Didiers as well. Strange in a strange land. And I know, I know somebody in the YouTube hates this, this particular Iron Maiden song. And he's going to get a shout out soon. It's um, my good friend Nodes over in um, Rocko 2004. Brilliant album, but he doesn't like Fear of the Dark. And that's the album. And we got a bit of Modern Iron Maiden from 2006, I think. Which is uh, a matter of life and death. Brilliant, uh, brilliant album. Then we got Live Iron Maiden in 2003 with Death on the Road. Again, I've got the DVD of this concert. But they are amazing band if you've never seen them live. And back, back to back to Deep Purple. This is Mark III, the final concert with them. Um, Glenn Hughes on bass, David Coverdale on vocals. Of course, the legendary Richie Blackmore, which at the time I got. From Virgin Records in Merry Hill. And speaking of I made in reference, this has got the first appearance of abduction by Bruce Dickinson. Which I do believe that Breathe is playing on the second song on this set list. Because I know he played Wolverhampton last Thursday, just gone. And a bit of Deep Purple, which is technically made in Japan, which is their biggest album. Got a couple of um, well-known bands doing random metal cover songs. Um, it's got Destruction from Germany doing Whiplash, which is off Metallica's first album, I think it was. Got Machine Head covering the police's message in the bottle. Got Pan the legendary Pantera covering Cat Scratch Fever. She so got uh, Oyster doing um, Blue Oyster Cults coming for you. For you. And again, and he got Saxon doing um, Call to the Crimson King, which was originally King Crimson. And, and I made a CD single, which is Wildest Dreams of the Brilliant Eddie on the front. And I got this years ago at when it was memorabilia. But this is the Brixton 2002 gig, which was, I think, in support of Clive Burr. Well, all, although it's a bootleg, this set list is amazing. Then you've got an all-star, 
Gold Star salute to Iron Maiden. You get various singers from different bands, guitarists, bass players, drums. So, so good example doing the troop you've got. They let the like great let me let me from Motorhead. Phil Campbell is still around. Playing the troupe with their guy called Rocky George. Took right and bass and Chris Slade on drums. But you've got some amazing guitarists. On one to the hills you've got the legendary Michael Schenker. Playing guitar as well. Then, a bit of Judas Priest, which I've seen live, and this is live in Japan, of course, the legendary Unleashed in the East. Then we got a bit of Ozzy Osbourne with Randy Rhodes, which is tribute. <clears throat> Game brilliant live album with then um, of course a brilliant rendition of Crazy Train. Mr. Crowd, which is a brilliant song as well. And I put this in my top twenty-seven albums, but it's the original Queen's greatest hits. Yeah. Of course, what a great band. And we got which fine with Give Him Hell. And we got Saxon, Denim and Leather. Back to the Iron Maiden singles. Of course, the legendary number of the Beast, which was remastered to coincide with the early days so so the footage was at um, the Brixton gig and a brilliant um a side of a great time maiden which is uh it's a weird year Wind up with Blaze Bailey replacing the legendary Bruce Dickinson, but you've got Man of Man on the Edge, which is um, a not nod towards falling down, I think, with uh, Michael Douglas, which is a great film. Then we got a tribute to the Beast Volume 2. Got Anthrax um, doing Remember Tomorrow. Destruction from Germany doing a brilliant cover of Killers. There we go, a bit of live Iron Maiden. In the great um, Monsters of Rock festival at the time, which was 1992, with I made in headline in a uh, prestigious event down on as um, download. Then we got the DVD version of um, Wildest Dreams. There we got an unauthorised biography of Iron Maiden, which is Maximum Maiden, which has got a picture of um, Bruce Dickinson. And we got Accident of Birth by Mr. Bruce Dickinson.
And we've got Painkiller by the Mighty Judas Beast. We got Judas Priest's second album, which is Sad Wings of Destiny. With Victim of Changes, first appearance. And of course, the mighty Led Zeppelin with Led Zeppelin 2. Bit of live Judas Priest with. Um, from 1986 from the Turbo to I believe it was then one of the big compilations which I've got on vinyl which is Metal for Mothers but this is volume 2 on CD you've got Wide Spirit which I think has got Yannick Gers but I'm not 100% sure but You've got Trespass with a song called One of These Days. But these, these compilations are brilliant. If you like, like your um, new wave of British heavy metal. Speaking of like iconic, one of the biggest, one of the greatest like black metal Singers of all time, and of course, the legendary King Diamond. With his biggest album, which is Abigail. And we've got Venom with Welcome to Hell from Newcastle, I do believe. Speaker of I made an air self titled album debut from nineteen eighty. Again Ready for Boarding which is Live Running Wild The Brilliant Sun Raise Your Fist And of course under Jolly Roger Live, which is brilliant. Again, Top of the Pops 2, the 70s rock. Again, you've got something for everyone. You've got Queen, Alice Cooper, uh, Thin Lizzy, of course, Ram Jam with the legendary Black Betty. Of course, got the legendary Terry Bomb by... Um, the Runaways and just random random piece of music put it's alive and of course can't go on with a bit of Jimi Hendrix he's performing Purple Haze Live but you've got Babe of course by the legendary Sticks and again, another great compilation, which is the best heavy metal um, album in the world ever. There are some amazing metal bands. Oh, songs, pardon me. There we got, from 1999, Iron Maiden with Ed Hunter, which includes the game. Which is nowadays not as not as iconic, but I I enjoy playing the game for what it is. And then we got I imagine virtual virtual XI with the song. A lot of people hate. Now I'm gonna get a lot of. I mean, my look, I'll probably get a lot of uh, negative. But it's got the Sun Games and the Gambler, which isn't the perfect time made in some, but it's, it is a fun little song. But you've also got Future Real and Lightning Strikes Twice. And I Maiden's One to the Hill single. Then C 
single best of the beast. Then a bit of deep purple with the light grey um, Tommy Bowling, I believe. Of course, we placed um, Richie Blackmore in the band. A bit of prog rock royalty, one of the biggest bands of the 70s in Dark Side of the Moon, which of course is Pink Floyd. Speaking of legendary, you've got on this one Halford Life Insurrection with them. Um, it said it's Bruce Dickinson with the one you love to hate, but I think it's also got, if it's the live footage on YouTube, it's got Jeff Titus, Queen's like. But this is a brilliant live album from Mr. Rob Halford of the Mighty Judas Priest. Then a bit of two in, two in one in Deep Purple, which is... In rock, you got the likes of Black Knight, which was a single, Child in Time, which is a brilliant song, an Epic in its own right, and Speed King. But who do you think we are from 1973 with Woman from Tokyo, which is the last to feature Ingen and before? 1984 and we got 30 the best of deep purple and then we got the legendary power slave from 1984 one of the best live albums of all time. Of course, Iron Maiden's Live After Death. With, of course, Mr. Bruce Dickinson's famous line, Scream, Scream for me, Long Beach Arena. one of the best rock bands from the 70s especially in in Ireland which is of course a legendary Phil Lynott on the front or Lynott of course which is Thin Lizzy the um, collection again some amazing songs the boys are back in time which is an anthem for them got whiskey in the jar which is off I think that my first albums course the legendary emerald course can't go on with a bit of life man and woman but I think are still going today but a totally different lineup. Um, this was the debut of Yannick Girls of Iron Maiden, which is uh, no prayer for the dying. Of course, the troop in a single from 2003, I think it was, or 2005. Then this was in Kerrang! magazine at the time, which was... Um, a tribute to Iron Maiden, so you've got Metallica doing Remember Tomorrow, Vin Sevenfold, Gravin um, Flash of the Blade. Then from 2006, we've got Iron Maiden with the um, reincarnation of Benjamin Brig with Eddie on the front cover. Deeper 
Bald and purple rainbows, which is covering white snake, gillen, deep purple, and rainbow. Of course, I am made of part of man workings of metal. I am made in flight 666. And last one, which is. Ozzy Osbourne with the Osman Cometh with a very rare version of War Pigs. So that's part one of my CD collection. Anyhow, anyhow, so I'm going to do a couple of quick shout outs to the following. Um, the Blue Rain DVD collection, which is William, he loves his films. But loves his rock and metal CDs. Then we have Beat Damn Bunny, a huge wrestling fan, but loves his physical media and hope you are. Well, definitely give this guy a sub. He's under the weather at the moment. Then we have my friend, mentor, in Jim Jam movies and TV, of course. Which always gets a mention, which is James Millership. He loves his networks and picks up some great deals in charity shops around the West Midlands. Then, of course, I've just mentioned him. Can't go on with a bit of noise over it, um, which is Rock God 2004. Loves his films, but, but a fellow Iron Maiden fan. Then we have the Retro Movie Zone, which is Tony. He loves talking about retro films and television, and also what, what he's picked up on, on camera. Then we have the man, the myth, the legend, Big Paulie. Loves his music. He's a huge, huge Magnum fan. But a YouTube legend in the in the film community. So yeah, so give these guys a sub. There will be some additional shout outs. But don't forget get to like, please, share and subscribe to the channel and and I will be doing a part two, which won't be as long, but, uh, but anyhow, thank you for watching the channel, and goodbye, folks, goodbye.